Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel. I got Sam over here in her nice little <laughs> hammock that we put up on these two trees. Look how comfy. It's a nice hammock, too. You got comfy? Walmart is on the, in the clearance aisle. Oh, yeah. We've had it for a while. Yeah, and I'm finally able to use it. Yeah, it's just and hard I'm... to find, like, you have to find, like, the right trees. And know? I'm reading my Kindle book. Oh, yeah. It's R-rated, so you guys can't read it. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll go over here, then. So... I'm pulling a ton of crap out of the RV since, you know, we have so much time and space and room to do it. Um, so don't mind my mess. I'm just, I literally pulled everything out. I've been sweeping, vacuuming, uh, just going through junk that I haven't used. So I figured this would be a good time to show you guys what I keep down here. Um, so basically, this is just random stuff that i have uh bug spray we have quite a few of them i think it was like a three or a four pack and i got my fishing lures um this is slide lube with windows wd-40 is always great to have and then i got some rope you never know when you'll need rope i also have uh bungees over there tie down extra hand sanitizer this is like my holy little grail section uh this is just Extra, this is transmission fluid. I got power steering fluid somewhere. Yep, here's uh, extra engine oil. I think this is another uh, transmission fluid. It's always super important and really suggested, especially when you travel and live on the road full time to have extra fluids. Um, even if your stuff is topped off and doesn't leak, you just never know if you'll have a blowout to the point where you lose a good amount of it and you have to, you know, either cut the, um, you know, let's say it's a coolant hose or something. You have to cut the coolant hose and pop it back on, but you still need to fill the coolant back up. So it's good to have extra of that. But uh, yeah, I have so much stuff. We also keep this on hand. Uh, this is great. This is a really good price from Amazon. I think this is like 30 bucks or something like that. I'll put a link down below. And uh, this is seam tape, so it's a whole big roll. Now, if you go to like Lowe's or Home Depot or Walmart, 10 feet of this stuff is like, I think like 15 bucks or something. This is a 50 foot roll, and I think we paid $35. So you save quite a bit of money. This is really good stuff, especially if you like scratch a tree with a roof or something like that, and you cut a tear in it. Um, you know, that'll ruin your roof, it'll ruin your day. This, you just peel it, stick it on, and you, literally you don't have to do anything else. This stuff is really good. It'll stay on your roof forever as long as you don't pull it off. So, yeah. Uh, I got all my stuff, a lot of stuff for work. Another good thing, fire extinguisher. Super important to have. Um, I believe these do have expiration dates. Also, check the gauge. Make sure that, uh, you know, it is in the green and it's good to go. You just never know. These RVs will go up in flames in a matter of seconds. I've seen videos and it's very impressive. So uh, definitely something good to have. Let's see. My whole little tool section down here. Got my drills. It's kind of a mess right now, don't mind it. Um, but I got drills, I got chainsaws, I got jigsaws, uh, sockets, whole bunch of screwdrivers and stuff in there. Uh, these are my cutters for when we want to get into a place that's locked, but we're like, screw that. And we just want to cut it open and get in there anyway. So we keep that there. Uh, chainsaw. Chainsaw has come in handy for me quite a few times, especially when we're at state parks and they don't have any wood or they have wood, but it's like a down tree and you have to cut it up. So it's just good to have that. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. That's about it. Extra funnels. Uh, I'm so, I gotta get this hoodie off. This morning it was cold. It went down to 44 last night, so it was pretty chilly. So I came out here with a hoodie on. Now I'm, now I'm dying. <laughs> oh, I did go ahead and we pulled our uh, canopy out of there, our 10 by 10, because I don't need it anymore. Thanks to Robert for hooking it up and setting it up. It's been great. Um, it's especially nice here. I was thinking about, not right now, but I was thinking about getting one of those rooms that attach onto the canopy. I'll pop a picture above. They are so freaking cool, um, but it basically makes like a whole nother room to whatever size your, your, your canopy, your uh, awning is. So ours would be another 16 foot room. It'd be so cool. I don't know, maybe down the line. It would especially be cool for here. They are pretty pricey though. They're around eight, 900 bucks. So anyway, I'm gonna finish up cleaning here and then uh, get back with you guys in a bit. All right, well, I pulled Cody's stroller out for cleaning purposes underneath because we saw it underneath. And uh, when you do that, or you say stroller, you have to push Cody in the stroller or he gets very upset and mad. So now we're going for a ride, right Cody? Yo, oh my God, we got stuck on a stump. And Milo hates the stroller. Whoa, this is not a very good, uh... oh my God, we're getting attacked. 
What are you, a pirate? Get out of here. <laughs> Milo hates the stroller, but can't stand the idea of Cody having a good time in it, right? Right? You're ruining our, our, our thing here, Milo. Can you go somewhere? Come on, man. I'm gonna file harassment charges. Unbelievable. All right. Is that good, Cody? Well, I almost tripped on the freaking. Is that good? So another good thing to check when you're either underneath, if this is your storage where your tire is, or if it's underneath the RV, or on the back, is your spare tire. And if you don't have one, I highly suggest you get one, especially if you go off the beaten trail like Sam and I do quite a bit. Um, this is honestly probably the uh, original spare, I'm guessing, maybe. I don't know, it's a Michelin tire. It's in great shape. Uh, it's not cracked at all. And it's like brand new tread. I don't think, I'd be surprised if this was ever used. So, um, but it's in there, it's totally full. Check the pressure and it's in good shape. And I bolted it back down. And then this nice little cover goes right over it. And then that way you have nice flush area for storage but we have a huge storage bay i don't know if you guys can tell but it's uh i'd say about four or five feet wide by probably four or five feet tall so i mean you can definitely store eh, i'd probably say 15 10 15 bodies in here pretty comfortably so yeah tons of storage looks like i made another discovery so uh we have this table right here it's it's pretty dirty it's kind of scratched up and stuff but it's a good table nonetheless if i ever needed one um, but it's actually used, they cut it out, uh, so it's used as a platform. And then underneath there's more storage, it's, it's uh, you know, pressed in. So I put a couple things under there. Same thing with that one, this one, and then this one has a tire in it, so there's no room. But um, there's a table over there, that's just a plastic uh, like cover. Uh, I took the table out, unfortunately this one is pretty beat. It's It looks like the whole like rusted out from where it was connected. So no point in carrying all this, you know, weight around. I don't know, it's not terribly heavy, but weight nonetheless, and I can't use the table. So I'm not sure, Sam made a good point. Maybe we can use it somewhere on the property. I could wedge it between two trees and make like a little, um, you know, little table or something out there if I need like a little work table. So that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, so that's going to possibly be recycled. If not, unfortunately, it'll be garbage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I could always cut stumps up appropriately. Right now, I don't have any trees that I'm cutting down, though, so it would, it's a progress, you know, it'd be waiting for a little bit, but, yeah. Got Milo over here, he's, he's keeping an eye on everything. You keeping an eye on everybody? Make sure everybody's working? Huh? Okay. No, that's not for you. <clears throat> so I didn't show you guys this yet, but uh, we just bought this on Amazon. It was about 35 bucks. It's a full cover windshield cover, and it covers the side windows, too. And it's really nice because now I don't have to worry about putting the sheet up up front and worrying about people seeing through it at night or the light. This blocks like just about all the light. So it's really nice. So the next thing on my list, when I first got this RV, I sat here for a long time. I did the top trim, but this trim, okay, is supposed to be covered by this trim covering, whatever it's called. I'll put, I'll put a name up above. But you can see it's not supposed to get wet and the screws are actually starting to rust a little bit. This one and this one are missing completely, which is very concerning because as we drive down the road, water is potentially getting into that hole. So I'm gonna try again today. Now I did all this weather stripping and weather stripping, I guess that's what you call it, all the way up the top. But for some reason, guys, I can do this whole thing real quick. As Soon as it gets to this curve, it just doesn't want to stay in. I can put it in, and as I start pressing it in more and more and more and more up here, this bottom part will start popping out right behind it. And it drives me nuts. So today I'm gonna try it. If that doesn't work, I think what I'm gonna do is I bought, I think I bought like heavy duty Gorilla Glue or something to that effect. And what I'm gonna do is, as I put it in, I'm gonna put glue behind the weather stripping, press it in, and I'm gonna have Sam put a piece of tape here and very close going all the way up and all the way around. And then I'll let it dry for like a day or so 
and then we'll pull it off and I'm hoping that'll hold but I mean I've put up a ton of weather stripping on RVs and my own and I've never had that issue that curve is just very difficult to do I'm a little embarrassed to say this but uh I think when I did it or at least when I did this section I think I had the tape or the, whatever the covering backwards and I think that's why I was having such a hard time putting the trim in because now it went right in when I flipped it over and it's all the way down. Now we're just going to put our screw in right here so it holds and I'm going to cut this and we will be nice and watertight and it'll keep water out of there so and it looks much better too so that's a, a big project done. I'm glad I got that figured out. All right well I took a little break from the um, bay over there, the storage bay trying to organize all that. It's just about done. Got almost everything back in nice and cleaned up but my firewood rack finally came I ordered this from Amazon uh, just so I can get the firewood up off the ground it's not off the ground too much I'd probably say about literally like two inches or so but it is off the ground and it's nice and stacked so it looks nice and neat it also came with a cover the only issue I'm having with that is um, some of the wood is you know a little longer than others so I don't know how great of a fit it's gonna be but we'll find out after I try putting it on I'm gonna Try putting this cover on and then we're going to put the rest of the stuff back in the engine bay and then we're going to head out today and uh, Sam has a couple places she wants to go so we're going to jump on the ground. Well just a quick update on this cover. Um, I picked up the rest of the wood that was over here, threw it up here. So got it covered under this tarp now and then I threw, this is just like my, I call it the ugly pile. It's just ugly wood that will burn first um, but I used a couple of those pieces just to hold this down. I contacted Amazon because this is not good. The zipper literally broke off. I didn't even get to put it down once and it ripped off. So it's, and it split. And I tried putting it back on, but it wouldn't go. So I contacted them. I thought maybe they'd give me like 15 or $20 back or credit or whatever. So I could just buy a, um, you know, like a tarp, just a big enough tarp to cover it. But instead they refunded me the whole purchase amount. So, and this thing was pretty expensive. It was about 70, I think like $73 or something like that. They were either going to ship me one for free, like the whole thing all over again, or just refund it. And I'm like, I don't need another one, so I guess just refund it, you know? But, uh, yeah, so that worked out pretty good. Anyway, Sam's inside getting all prettied up. We are going to head out and get some lunch soon. And because it's a nice day out, nice and sunny. So, that's the plan. All right, we made it to the restaurant. Sam, do you know what you're getting yet? Nope. Awesome. <laughs> we first went inside it's packed in there and it's very dark they have a couple of alligators in there i'll post some pictures up sam took some pictures but they're in like a i don't know like a hundred gallon tank they're like the mini ones or babies i guess but um there's no seating inside barely at all but out here it's nice and tropical we got these umbrellas we're the only ones here <laughs> which is fine it's nice and quiet and uh peaceful yeah and we'll get some food all right, I think I'm gonna go with a wrap for today. You can get a gator tail wrap. I don't know if I have the cojones to try that. I don't know. I heard it's very chewy. I think I'm gonna go with the chicken wrap. Any idea yet, Sam? Sam's gonna get the gator tails. I might do the patty melt. Oh, uh, you don't want gator bites? Mm -mm. All right. All right, well, the food has finally come. I got a chicken wrap. Sam got a patty melt. Right, Sam? I wasn't sure if it was taking a while, so I wasn't sure if we were supposed to go back there and cook it or. Girl, I'm not gonna you know, <laughs> I, I think I no aged. Patience. I aged like five years. <laughs> All right, guys, we just made it back to home base over here. We got a nice little fire going, just burning one of the cardboard boxes that I had. That I think the wood log splitter came in, so. Mm -hmm. Try to get rid of it instead of having to truck it out and throw it in the, you know, the garbage somewhere. It's just easier to do this. And then Especially we're going to... Especially when you live a lifestyle like this. Yeah. Oh, I don't look good on my bangs like that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Skunk. There. We hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and we'll see you in the next one.